Hello and welcome! We are going to be looking at some refined storage today. I'm going to try and do it in 10 minutes or less, so here we go. You're going to need disk drive, crafting grid, you're going to need a pattern grid, you're going to need a fluid grid, you're going to need some sort of universal cable, a storage disk of some sort, and then you're going to need controller and a generator. When generator is easiest, you're going to grab your controller, plop it down. You're going to grab your storage drive, plop it down, take your pattern grid and your item grid and your fluid grid, plop them down. Just make sure they're connecting with one another. And then from that point, you need power. And so you can try with a wind generator. And if you notice, nothing happens. You There's a ceiling up on top, so you won't be able to use your fan. So what I do is you just go up high. The higher the better because you're going to make a lot more power if these are going faster. So put them up top. Grab four or five. Do not grab too many because if you put like a bunch of them on there, I put 83 on one and I crashed my entire server and made it so I could not go to that specific spot. So don't put too many. 83 is too many. Five is just fine. And then you're going to put your power cable on. You're going to bring it all the way down. Connect it to the back of your controller. And now look, you can open it up. You can click on it. Everything's lit up. That is a good sign. But you can't put anything in it, which is not a good thing. So you've got to put your storage disk in. And then after you have your storage disk, you can now put things in. You can also craft. You can look for things. You can do all the things you need with that. And that's super great. Now the next thing you're going to need is some crafters. You can have the high tier crafters or the low tier crafters depending on how many resources you actually have. Most people just start off with the classic normal crafter and that's perfectly fine. And then you're also going to need some cables. And with those cables you need the refined storage cables. And you just connect them up. And you can either have the crafters set up normally just on top. If they're connected, they'll say yes. Those two, I'm going to use those for normal stuff. And this one over here, I'm going to use it for processing things that I want to burn, but not all the time. And then you're going to need to get some sort of an importer. And that will let you get rid of the items that you smelt. And generally, I actually have the importer on the bottom and the crafter on top. So that is something that I need to do, and I do end up switching it. But yeah, it's simple. Connect it up. Nice and easy like that. Um, but you'll notice it's not as easy to get things away. Grabbing some speed upgrades for refined storage is super helpful. You can't use them with the creative one because they're just really fast automatically. But with all of the other importers and exporters, you can use them really quick. You can put them in the right side, just like in the pattern grid where there's those four, four squares on the side. There. Now, you're going to grab a pattern grid. You're going to grab some patterns. Put on processing. You're going to click that. One cobblestone equals one stone. And you're going to toss that into your crafter. And once it has that... You are pretty much good to go for the crafting. You can select different things where it's you shows craftables, non-craftables only, or craftables only. And that makes it super convenient. Now then, you can upgrade your furnaces to be factories. So you augment factory, and boom, there you go. You now have a factory. And it now only requires power instead of fuel. And that is extremely useful. Because in the beginning, you have a decent amount of power. Not a, not a ton, not enough by any means. But you do have power. With the wind generators, it's pretty much unlimited power. But it does drain on power. So you can make the decision for yourself. I just like future-proofing it. And then in here, you can also set up other recipes. 
and instead of having it set for processing, set it as extract, and you're going to say four stone in this pattern makes stone bricks, and that is your pattern, put it in. Then you're gonna go ahead, put it into one of your crafters, and then from that point, you can go back in, just, you know, you can have the speed upgrades for the future, it's super great. Then you can go back in, you can grab yourself some stone here real quick, and then you go over here where it says craft, and you can just click on that, you say I want 64, you have enough, start. Now all of a sudden you have 64 stone bricks and you didn't have to put them in where you wanted. All you had to do is say, I want this many. It's super nice. That's I think that's one of my favorite features of this whole thing. And just the automation of everything is really, really nice. Look at that. So pretty, so nice, simple. There's not a lot of storage. If you notice, I filled up most of the storage with just a few items. You can get a ton bigger storage disks the regular, the regular refined storage only goes up to 64K. You don't put it in there. You don't put it in the crafting grid. You put it in your disk drive. And that, look at that. You have so much more storage. And the 65, the 64K are not too hard to get to, but you, there are higher ones with extra storage, extra disks, and those are expensive. So you're gonna want a builder and you're gonna wanna get all of that. Getting a builder is super great, but it's kind of confusing to operate, so go watch this next video, and I'll show you how.